currently flying over the Arctic Ocean, altitude 30,000 feet, approaching Soviet airspace, arriving at the designated drone launch point. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload antifreeze system shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you too? Hmm. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today, Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We've still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKB-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard then. The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean the boss? The mother of your special forces? Yes, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. 
I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the boss, with Colonel Volgen's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top-secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again, our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then, you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes, preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volgan is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volgan as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. It means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal, huh? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. To put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB in exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Volgin's ranks also arrange for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Control. Unidentified aircraft detected. Altitude 30,000 feet. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it.
This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss? This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. I oh, must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry and Tom. I get it. You use the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the Virtuous mission, 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same, 140.96. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is, Who are the Patriots? And Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Okay, here we are finally after another like 20 some minutes of cutscenes, which you're going to get a lot of that in Metal Gear Solid, well, pretty much any Metal Gear Solid game. However, I just wanted to say a few things before we actually start here. Uh, this is new commentary, this is new gameplay. Uh, the first three parts I recorded back in November. And uh, some things happened and I didn't get a chance to play the game anymore and all that kind of stuff. But now I am here officially and we are going to be playing this game 
and we're going to be completing it as well as all of the Metal Gear Solid games. Now, if there's some new games that are going to be coming out here, like The Witcher and things like that, and I plan on doing a walkthrough for that as well. So uh, we'll try to get to as many of these uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, playthroughs as as we can. Hopefully I can uh, complete as much as I need to, and it'll be great. So let's go ahead and see what we can. i got to remember the controls here. This is going to be uh, pretty awkward. Um, crap. How do you... <laughs> this is what I get for uh, not playing a game in a while. So, okay. There we go. That's my first person. And press that. All right. See if I can. There we go. One big thing about this game, of course, is uh, collecting animals and things like that to eat. So, bear with me, please. I am going to try my best to remember the controls and all that kind of stuff. You guys know how I like to do stealth playthroughs. So, well, without further ado, here we go. And we're going to do some Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. I'm not going to be collecting all kinds of animals, just enough to kind of survive. This is not going to be a completely thorough playthrough. It's going to be pretty much a lot of story and trying to get through it and everything like that. So I'm not going to try to veer off the beaten path too much. Just want to get through all the Metal Gear games, try to be as stealthy as I can, provide some uh, good commentary and uh, lots of fun. So as you can see, we are, I'm not sure if we're familiar with this part right here. Uh, we're kind of heading back to where we were at the beginning when we uh, started our Metal Gear Solid 3 playthrough for the Virtuous mission. Kind of slowly making our way back to that same area. And one thing I love about this game is like all the different stuff that you have to do in order to survive. There's so much. Ah, look at that guy right there. We just heard a horse too, so we know who that is. For those of us that have actually played the game before. So it looks like we got ourselves some more food. We're going to need it. And uh, I'm going to try to shut up during all these cutscenes. So uh, enjoy, guys. You. Yeah. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Boss! That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Boss! I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America.
That should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. If we meet again, I'll kill you. Now, go home. This is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians, that she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. Okay, well here we are. And we need to get behind some cover before these guys see us. Finally we get to... Uh... There they are. What's this? HQ, HQ. This is HQ. We'll back Control up a little here. bit that way we can actually see we a little bit more. An enemy intruder. There we Commence go. Alert formation. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. I mean, honestly, you could probably beat this game within less than three hours. As far as actual gameplay, there's really not much to it. There's just so many abundance of cutscenes and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna try to sneak past these guys. There's no reason for us to even worry about them. And that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna sneak past most of the people that I mess with and kind of just try to get by without doing too much. Let's see, is there anything up there? No. So we're still in the cautionary mode right now, so we need to be watchful of where we are and who is in front of us. There is our objective right there. And if you remember, we were here already, actually. We were here uh, in the Virtuous mission. This is the same kind of part that we were in before. What we're going to do now is equip our motion detector. That way we can see if there's any enemies coming up before we just run blindly over there. And as of right now, there is no enemies near us. So let's just keep going. 
I've always wondered what language that's in. I couldn't tell if that's... Uh, is that Russian or something? The top one. We know what the bottom is, but... So we're still in cautionary mode right now. So there's... There's an enemy right there. So what are we going to do? We can either... Okay, we got two enemies. So we need to actually kind of wait until this caution goes down. And once it goes down, I believe they will start to kind of spread out and there won't be as many. Yeah, there we go. I think they'll both kind of like just get out of here. Well, maybe one of them will stay. Maybe the guy that's coming towards us will stay. But he's leaving and he's over there. This guy's still walking. It's funny how it shakes when he's walking. Let's see, the other guy, he's he's going away. So now we just got this guy to attend to. HQ. And then here he is. This is HQ. Patrol here. Unable to locate the problem. Understood. Return to your position. Okay, so he's coming back this way. Okay, before I go into this any further, let me go into some options here because I have completely forgot how to play this game. It is, you know, like I said, been quite since November since I played it before. So let me go to where I can figure out the controls. Can you even do that? Hmm. Maybe you can't. You can't go into the actual options, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Unless it's... No. That's okay. I'll, I'll figure it out as the time goes. Okay, so here's our guy. We pretty much just need to get by him, and then we should be golden. And easy peasy. Now, what I want to do is I want to be able to get up behind him and sneak up on him. But I cannot, for the love of God... Remember, oh, and here's the other camera angle that you can do. But I'm still trying to get used to the controls again, so I cannot remember which button controls uh, kind of the CQC stuff. I guess this is as good as time to find out. Uh, okay, that's ob obviously your weapon. Okay, that's that. Uh, A is get down. Y, I don't know what Y is. But we'll figure it out as the uh, time goes. Hopefully I can be really, really stealthy. Now, this game, I don't got it on like the hardest difficulty or anything like that. Um, but what's going to make it more difficult for me is the fact that I'm going to try to do this whole walkthrough and not be detected. So I'm not going to go around killing, uh, killing anybody. And I'm not going to go around... Uh, just, you know, running around shooting all kinds of crap and whatever. It's going to be stealthy. It's going to try to get by if I can. If I can't get by a situation, then I'll use my weapons. But it'll be the non-lethal route. So now you guys know what kind of playthrough that I'm going for. And uh, if you guys want to watch that kind of playthrough, then by all means, keep watching. We're going to have lots of fun. It's a great game. Okay, so here we are. There are no enemies up ahead. This is the same site that we were at before. Although up ahead will be a huge long cutscene. You guys, <laughs> this is like a, a really long cutscene. So this is going to be pretty much the end of the commentary for this part. Hopefully you guys are enjoying what I got to say. We're going to be going through all of the Metal Gear games. Uh, at least as many as, as that I actually can. I plan on doing Peace Walker, which is a part of this uh, collection, as well as Metal Gear Solid 2, which is a part of the collection, and of course Metal Gear Solid 4. That's going to be like my baby, because that's my favorite one, I believe. I loved it the most. I didn't like the whole kind of old snake, but I, it's just, to me, it's got the, the best mixture of gameplay and weapons and all that kind of stuff, so I really like that, I think, the best. Although I'd say the second best would probably be this one. 
Now, I also have the GameCube, which has uh, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. And I really want to do a Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes uh, run through. I think if I want to do the whole series, I kind of have to. You, For those people that haven't played Metal Gear Solid, they need to experience all the games. And it would be kind of just unjustified and, and not worth playing all the other games if I leave one of them out. So I am going to try my best to do that. I'm going to try my best to make sure that it's in there. And it's going to take a lot of time. You know, these games are not easy. They're very, very long. So hopefully I can get through them because there are other games that are coming out during then that I want to check out as well. So like uh, Witcher. I'm really thinking about doing a Witcher walkthrough. That's going to come up really soon. I'm going to do some camouflage because I love looking at the camouflage uh, in the cutscenes kind of make it your game, you know. Uh, let's see. Do we want to change up his uniform? And go for a completely black, which is good for night, but I don't think it shows very well in the cutscenes. So what do I want that would show really well in the cutscenes? Maybe tree bark. No, we're just going to stick with the, uh, yeah, we'll stick with that one. That's fine. So once I leave this room, there's going to be that huge cutscene that I told you guys about. So please comment, rate, subscribe. Enjoy the playthrough. Enjoy everything that I've got going on. And we'll see you on the next one.